morning guys Devin Burris of Power Shine Pressure Washing Valhausa, Georgia we are headed to the first of two jobs today and it's a beautiful day here in South Georgia it's kind of hot but you know we're going to get after it so this is where we're headed today so let's go Got some sweat rags, got my little stand, put the hat on the head. Got this job from a builder friend of mine. I've done some jobs for him, as you can see here. I don't know, probably been two or three jobs that I've done for the guy in the past. But these are some people that he takes care of, and so I'm coming out to take care of him. And this will probably lead to more work in the future with him and also um, with these people. We're going to clean this whole home, all the concrete here. It's pretty dirty, concrete's pretty nasty. The client, or the tenant rather, isn't really worried about the look of this concrete here. They said they're gonna be painting it and all that, so we're gonna clean it up for them. They also stated that this front porch has just been painted, so that's something that we're gonna avoid completely. We're gonna go from this window down and the same on the other side. Hey black mold up there on that brick home typical brick home they asked us to clean these up so these are going to be some pretty satisfying cleanups both of these benches this is the dirty side of the house um, north side we got some just some mold some mildew there's a lot of spider eggs spider webs got some wasps up there Nothing that's too untypical. But that'll all come off pretty nice. Got an outlet down here. We're going to tape that up. And all of this area in here is going to get cleaned. All of this concrete is going to get cleaned. I've got 200 foot of 3 8 hose pulled all the way down and around. We're going to start down there, probably work my way back to the truck, do the front, and then roll up. I don't know if you guys have seen Sean's YouTube channel. Sean likes to wipe stuff down with rags and towels. So I brought some rags and towels, Sean. Power Shine Pressure Washing is Devin. How can I help you? In Google Voice Search, press one to speak to an agent. I hate spam calls. Gas on, choke on, throttle up. Nope, I ain't one pool baby. Come on, baby, that's who I am. Hose management, I'm gonna start over there, wash my way down around. It's currently 1052, about 9,000 degrees. Humidity is at 500%. <laughs> side is clean there's still some staining up here I've yet to clean all that in there so we'll just hit this again with a second application but I wanted to take this time to incorporate the Sean Weber rag method I was so inspired by Sean I told him I was gonna do this we're gonna call it trademark it Beautiful. Woo. 
12 seconds later. Clean. Clean as a whistle. I'm still going to put a little bit of a house mix on these to kill any kind of mold that was on there, but they look phenomenally better. I've already soaked this. I'm going to hit it a second time because these seals didn't come 100% clean, and I'm not, I'm not happy with that. I like the seals to be clean all the way. They're not coming all the way clean, but that's okay because I got the, the Sean Weber method. Wow, immediately different. Ta-da. Don't sue me, Sean. I don't know if you've trademarked that or not. There you go, the Weber rag method all day long boom i like it this is a different towel don't use the same towel that you uh are using on the on the sean weber on the weber rag method that's this one this is the burris rag method Devin Burris rag method. Does that work? Anyways. Yeah, house is looking good. I got the whole bag done. I'm gonna finish this up. Let you guys watch me spray a little water and then we're gonna do a time lapse on all this concrete. I'm currently shooting with the Davis shooter tip because the M5 that I have something's wrong with it I thought maybe it was the machine you see how smoothly the shooter tip is shooting usually it's a really smooth stream I don't know if you can see that it's like pulsing um, I thought it might have been something with my machine but it's 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 not now it's still putting chemical on the house i don't know if that's a huge concern you know if i ought to be so concerned about it but it's not normal i will say that it's not normal why is it doing that anybody got any ideas you can see all the way through it there's nothing stuck in it it's just spraying like a wild goose i don't know if that's because that's wore down or not but it hasn't been an issue in the past or if something's wrong with my paddles here and it's just time to get a new one i've rocked this m5 for this is the fourth season never had this issue till today i don't know we're going to spray from here down to avoid all this they just had all that painted, so we're avoiding all of that. I don't want to get any overspray on it. I am spraying all the brick. And we're letting the brick sit and dwell and dwell and dwell. The brick on this home isn't even dirty. There was a few spots in the back that were dirty. I went ahead and cleaned those up already. House is coming out nice, nice and clean. I got one more after this one. It's currently 1213. Not too bad. Um, not as bad as I thought anyways.
I already hit the underside of this eave here from back there. These are actually pretty clean. Don't worry, we're gonna rinse all the bushes again. From here, down as far as I can, and now we've washed the whole front. I'm gonna let that dwell for a few minutes, rinse it off, and then we're gonna hit all this concrete and get started on it. You won't see me do this stuff in the back, but that's okay. I'm gonna just do this pad, video it, and I'm gonna go. Surface clean, rinse, and post tree, some old concrete. Now you're gonna see some discoloration and all of that kind of stuff. The client is gonna have this painted and then sealed. They just wanted to get it clean, so we cleaned it up for them. Turned out really good. I'm gonna take some pictures of it for the before and after, as you can see here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this and I don't think I'm gonna video that, so here's the before and after. Here's a couple of before and afters of the house, what it turned out like. Never mind, I lied. I wanna bring you along. Let's clean a little bit of concrete. Frog, watch out, Mr. Frog. Bunch of crud over there. Tricky part. This concrete isn't terribly dirty, but there is some surface. There's some surface staining on it. I want to get that surface dirt up off of there. Put a nice post treatment on it, it'll whiten up a lot. Those lines you see there are in the aggregate talking about this line right here that's in the aggregate. Make sure to get the corners good. Everything here turned out really great. All of that really white. Cleaned up really nice. All of this was nasty and moldy. Everything looks good. Super happy with the way this job turned out. Aggravating.
I had one more house to do today. The client called, moved it to tomorrow. It's just a little vinyl house, really basic. So I'm gonna go knock that out in the morning. All rolled up, all done. That's a wrap on this job. Remember, if you guys like this content, if you got any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to tell your friends about it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.